We went ring shopping. Are we going to talk about this? Might as well. Oh my God. Talk about weddings. Oh my God. Okay. Why wouldn't we? Let's go home. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine episode uh, ninety one. Ninety one. <laughs> we had a big, we, we had a big week. We still don't know what to do for hundred for episode hundred. Episode hundred? Yeah. Well, what we should do? Okay, we what we need to do the little math. When do we think episode hundred is coming out? July, August. Nine weeks. I, I got that part. Uh-huh. Let's see. What is nine weeks from now? Can we actually get an answer on that? That would be great because that would that would give me some. Some, what is, some what is this noise? It's me trying to do math. No one wants to hear that in their ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird. Try to squeeze out an answer okay. from my brain. July 26th. July 26th. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That We, we kind of figured that out because we started the podcast on August 11th. So we probably could have walked ourselves backwards. And just, We've missed what, two episodes? Ever? If that, maybe. Good for us. Maybe two, maybe two. Yeah, yeah, you're Good right. Good for us. You're right, you're right. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, July 26th. Um, I, I still need some recommendations in, in the comments. Like, I gotta be do we do it from the pool? Like, I feel like there's just something fun that we could be doing. We could. I feel like we can do the pod from somewhere fun. My pool body will be ready by then. Mostly because my pool body is ready right now. You know what, babe? Everybody's a summer body. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, that makes me feel better about myself. I'd like to pause this uh, pause this program. Are you interrupting your own sp- podcast? I'd like to interrupt this program for a special announcement. But not an ad. That the, uh, but, but not an ad. No, I'm actually, an we're ad? not actually making any money here, but the Discord is officially live. <laughs> and uh, so it's the Lord DIY Discord, but there is a Wild Till Nine channel and the Wild Till Nine, the, the Wild Till Nine channel. Well said. What's our podcast called? Um, it's pretty poppin'. And honestly, there's a lot of overlap. Um, we actually had a whole conversation on how to spell Tilly's today. In in the Discord? In the Discord, yeah. I haven't even, I haven't even checked I know, it out yet. I know, people have been requesting for you okay. to hop in and say hello. It's in the description right now. So there is an invite link to join the Discord. And if you've never used Discord, we've also added a channel that's Discord 101. So it's super easy to make an account. So you can go ahead, do that, join the Discord. And I feel like my Discord's a pretty good like starter one. Okay. Um, and then head on over to the Wild Till 9 channel and also the Discord 101 Ooh, channel. But if you heard this exact thing, what do you need to comment in that exact channel so that we know you're a real one? Dragon emoji it is. Dragon emoji, there it is. No, 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 the otter, the otter emoji holding the pebble. Use the otter emoji holding the pebble. <laughs> um, what, big week for you. Oh my God. You guys, I've never been so Wait, drunk in my entire actually, life. <laughs> forget, forget your week. We'll get to that in a second. Uh huh. My car's coming. Okay, you know what though? I just really feel as if- No, we, we have a should delivery not be, We should not be celebrating no. until it's in the driveway. That's what we're doing for episode 100. We're gonna do that whole like James Corden um, car <gasps> karaoke thing. That's so That's what fun we'll do. from the Tessie. That's what we'll do. My Bessie got a Tessie. Um, my insurance rate currently is looking really reasonable. Uh-huh. And I'm interested uh-huh. to see what that insurance rate looks like when Lauren's driver's license gets added to it. What do you mean? You're bad at driving and um, <laughs> your insurance reflects that. <laughs> I have, so not long ago, and we actually didn't, I didn't submit this claim because I just don't really care that much because I was the only one involved in the incident. Oh, you're talking about the one, the one woman <laughs> show. I wonder, how, I wonder how many people can relate to something this mm, interesting. So I, 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 have we told this story in the podcast? Maybe not. If, if we have, bear with us. Um, We're gonna do it again. I remember like it was, Clearest day, I was actually sitting right there, um, working on the audio for this podcast. Yeah, yeah, so it would have been early days of the pod. I had noise canceling headphones on. It wasn't a sensation to hear, mm. it was a sensation to feel. Mm. Go ahead, <laughs> there's a bonus story. So I pulled into the driveway, as one does, um, and uh, I think that, listen, listen, don't text and drive people, but like, can you can you put the car in park and text? When you're the, in the, the safety of your own driveway, yes, one would think laws would say yes that you can you can park and text, park and text. And so I pulled into the driveway, you know, coming back from my my weekly Ralph's trip, just getting some groceries, just going foraging for some food for the family, and uh, pulled into the driveway, put the car in park, uh, get on my phone, start texting back. All of a sudden, I am in the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean me personally. I mean that the front left corner of the bumper is in the garage door. You know the stat where they say like, you know, the majority of accidents happen within like a couple blocks of your house. <laughs> well, this accident happened within an inch of the house. So although I personally thought that I was texting and parking, I was texting and neutraling. Well, that's the thing, you were texting and parking. You were texting and parked. <laughs> and parked right? Yeah, I was texting and currently parking. And then. 
And you parked into the side of the house. And then I parked inside. So it was like, it was, I hit the brakes, went to go, cause normally you'd hit the brakes and then go like spring your, sprint, spring, mm. whoa. Spin mm. your, um, what the, the Prindle? Spin the Prindle. Spin the Prindle? The Prindle. Is that what you call that? Yeah, park, drive, reverse, neutral, and whatever L, what's L again? In Canada, they have a word for this that I'm not sure exists in America. I think Remy taught me that it's called the Prindle. Well, then it's gotta be legit. Yeah, yeah. if Remy says so, if, it, if Remy it, says it so. is so. It's a Prindle. I, um, I've i never referred to the Prindle as a Prindle before. Sorry, I was, so I spun it into, spun the, put the Prindle in neutral, which I thought was park. And uh, so the house actually put me in park because then I, yeah. I that's how I stopped. Well, it's like it's like kids when they didn't know how to skate on like a skating rink and they would just smash into the wall as like their, their method of stopping. That's not how I plan to stop the car, but that is how in fact the car stopped on that day. Yeah. Uh, physics actually, I think parked your car. Right, and so the podcast room happens to be right above the garage. And so not only did it reverberate back into my seat as I was in the car, but it also reverberated up the entire house, up a story. Yeah. And Jeremy felt I the- s- <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, it was such a weird <laughs> phenomenon. I was like, that doesn't feel, it was too short for an earthquake. And I stood up. I was very confused. I walked over to the window. I look outside and I see Lauren with the face that I can only imagine what a, a parent looks like. I was dying. When they're looking at their kid, thinking they're getting away with something that they're very embarrassed by. And I was I was underwhelmed. I knew that you were in the house. And, and there's there's no situation. I also don't, I'm like not someone who's like, oh no, it's scratch on my car. Like, I'm just like not that kind of person. And like- and it's I, a lucky thing. I knew, I knew the moment that I walked in, I'd have to tell you the story. It was so funny. It was so fucking funny. I, I was dying. Go, Did you hit the fucking house? <laughs> yes, exactly. Did you hit the house? And like, I can tell you, you're going to tell me the story. <laughs> you weren't going to leave with that. <laughs> You know what though, I actually got really lucky because it can be really expensive to replace garage doors. And instead of the garage door, I actually hit the um the house yeah. that like the um like the outer portion of the house that like what like the not the rim of the garage, but like the the corner of the house that juts out mm. before you get to the garage. So yeah. I got really lucky because I could have I could have knocked the whole door out of out of place. And so now if you ever want to know um which car is mine, you can just take a take a peek at the yep. Front left bumper. If there's if there's a little bit of white house siding on the bumper, it's us. Yeah, well, you know, you go to valet, the Range Rover. Oh, no, 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 the one with the chunk taken out of the front. No, 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 it's not a chunk. We added a chunk of the house onto the car. Mm, stylistic integrity. Yes, an extra chunk. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. <laughs> I, that's not, there's just no way that we're, that we're alone in. Oh, there's no way. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You know how many people I know, and I feel like this is such a common story is that someone gets their license at 16 and they roll directly or into backing up into something. And it's like their first week of driving and they have an incident. I, I wonder how long it's going to be until you wreck my car. Oh, I give it, I, I pray. All, all I want in life is for you to put the first like ding or dent or scratch in the car. Cause I just don't want to be. Well, the depending first. on what my insurance looks like, you won't be driving my car. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, right. No, I am. Um, I would I, actually prefer to not drive your car. And oddly enough, like it's a bit of a miracle that nothing ever happened when I was driving your car. But you're on my insurance though. Yeah, but still like, it, like it, it's been years. Yeah, and I've I been, guess. I mean, obviously I Uber everywhere, but a lot of times we're driving. Think about how like, often we drive together. Every time we drive, you're driving. Right. Yeah. I, and it is a good we've, thing. We've had some close calls. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not perfect by any means. Right. Well. No. Kidding, not. Anyway, point is, um, I'm just interested to see how this little fun little journey goes. Yeah, so anyways, I feel like we shouldn't celebrate until the car is actually in the driveway because I have had a furniture delivery scheduled three times and it not shown up. Lauren, so I Elon just, wouldn't do this to me. Elon he sent me a text. fuck you in a second. He sent me a text. He said, hey babe, um, the, the car's ready. When do you want me to drop it off? And I was like, Elon, hey, um, Saturday's great. And, and so here it is upon us, the delivery day of Saturday. Before the next episode, it'll be no, here? No, 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 no. I think it's next Saturday. Oh. Yeah. So still two weeks. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. So I just feel like we That's shouldn't okay. be celebrating. It's just like- I'm ready to celebrate. I just I just don't want to put the bad juju out into the world. You know, the bad karma, the bad juju. The... I'm that confident in my guy. He would never do anything like this to Yeah, me. Elon. He would never get my hopes up. Totally. Just to take them all away. No, no, of course not. No, it's good. Just like the edit button that he, that he promised us on Twitter. Well, I think he's, you know, Tore, tore, tore my hopes down. Tore hear, all my hopes and dreams down. I hear down. there's some bots um, that are keeping that mm. stuff from going forward. Okay, okay. But this is not an Elon Musk podcast. This podcast. <laughs> Elon Musk pod. This is a Lauren living her uh, 
unlived sorority girl dream yes. this past week in Kentucky. I, I, am a, I am a woman of culture. I've been to the South now, the northernmost part of the South, but I, 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 the culture that I have absorbed after this weekend. I gotta be honest, you not only did better than I thought you were going to, uh, and I think you had more fun than I thought you were going to, you showed me a side of you <laughs> that I had only seen, I think the first two weeks we were dating. <laughs> and even then, a, la like a layer beyond it. Mm -hmm. Like I've always wondered what you would have been like in college in general. You got a glimpse. And now I get to see what you would have been like in an environment that I'm quite fond and used to. Right. Um, even though it's been a distant memory. Uh -huh. And I think you, uh, you would have done just fine. I would have fucking thrived as a sorority girl. I would have absolutely thrived. And like, we've talked about this before because just also like how much of like a DIY element there is and like all of the, like the, the baskets you have to make for your little and all that shit and like, like cutting up. I like that that's where you start. The baskets you make for your little. I, I don't know. I think that was like a, a thing that I feel like I saw on YouTube a lot when I was in university of people like talking about like their, like as I was like making DIY videos and other people were making DIY videos. I think you should make a couple sorority targeted videos this fall. I think that our audience, no, I mean, not everyone's tooled for that, but that is, that is very, very, uh, it's not very niche, but it's, it's pretty niche. I think you'd be surprised at just how many people would be interested in something around that nature. Yeah, yeah. A lot of kids. You know what, it, it, I think I just have like back to school video PTSD. Okay. I just don't know if I can go there again. It's a dark, it's a dark place for me. What it's if we a did dark it together? Place. <sighs> don't tell me with a good time. What if we did it together? Don't tell me with a good time. Okay, We've fine. with a good time. Okay, let's think about it. We'll think about it. Um, but no, yeah, I, I saw the I saw the life that I could have lived. Oh my God, I know what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? There's these really, I, and I wish we had the video set up for this week. There's these really um, uh, like stereotypical, like Southern belts that are like, um, like, um, uh, like. Woven? Hey, yeah, but they're like. <sighs> Wefts? <sighs> Braided. Mm, look up fr fraternity belts, like uh, 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 Vineyard Vines-esque type Jesus shit. Jesus Christ. Anyway, point is, that people like make little designs with them. Uh -huh. Let's make moose frat belts. So where do you wear the frat belts? If it had moose. Yeah, yeah, zoom into that thing. Yo, oh, yeah, that's what I want. But for moose. That just looks like Ralph Lauren. Okay, how about for moose? <laughs> Wait, what, yeah, what, about, what about All that? Those. Oh yeah. What about that though is like frat specific? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's some Southern shit. I see the monogram there. Yeah, yeah, I see the monogram. What if we made moose monogrammed belts? So, but okay, where are do you, you pushing back on this idea? No, 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 no. I just, I just need more context. Cause I feel, I gotta be honest. I feel like I shared a piece of something I'd like to do with you and that you're, you're making me feel. Um, One, I will make anything with you. Two, if it's moose related, I also w would like to be involved. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, I just haven't worn a belt in many, many years. I would wear it. Oh, you wear it. Yeah. Okay, got it. And so it's just like a wear any time belt or it's like a special a special it occasion would, it belt. It would be a special occasion belt. Like Moose's birthday? Yeah. But then how many more days after that though? Cause they wanna make sure we're getting our wear. If we're gonna put the, the like the TLC. What if I wore it every birthday of Moose and on special days as well? Like, okay, so can I get a list though? I wanna, I wanna make sure it's getting like- Somewhere it's... between one and six times a year. Oh, that's not enough. Okay, then we won't do the Moose belt. I need at least once a month. That's not that much to ask. If we were to handcraft a moose belt, are you shitting me? Okay. You won't commit to one Ooh, actually, day even better, a month? Even better. Let's do a hand stitch moose keychain and I'll wear it. I'll have it all the time. Yep. Done. Deal. It's funny, all these gimmicks that promise a great night's sleep. I don't care what kind of toppers there are out there or how heavy a blanket may be, it's lipstick on a pig. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep will be terrible. It's that simple. That's why I recommend sleeping on a purple mattress. Purple mattresses have a gel fix grid, which is a game changer. We've been obsessed with their pillows. The grid supports your shoulders and neck throughout the night, giving you a deep sleep and avoiding any potential neck pain the next morning. The gel fix grid is different from memory foam, which remembers everything. Thanks to the gel flex grid, purple mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. You'll never have that I'm stuck feeling that people get with memory foam. The squishy soft material also does not retain heat and as summer approaches, our sleeps get sweatier. So this has been a huge help in improving our sleep. Try our purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available too. Getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get a purple mattress. 
Go to purple.com slash wild10 and use code wild10. For a limited time, you can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash wild10, code wild10. For 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash wild10, promo code wild10. Terms apply. I vividly remember when I worked at a grocery store growing up, shout out Sobeys, I would look forward to payday every two weeks, already having a list of things I needed or wanted to put that money towards. Waiting for that paycheck to hit my account when I had things due could be extremely stressful. And that's why I wish I had Chime back then. With Chime, you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. But Chime is much more than just getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancor Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access direct deposit funds depends on pair. <laughs> so basically, I'm a Southern Belle and I'm <laughs> wildly cultured now after coming back from Kentucky. Ooh. Um, so we had travel day was fine. Can't fly direct to Lexington. Don't love that. Nope. Um, and then Friday was our first full day there and we slept 10 hours. We slept a lot um, for really not doing anything. It's it's like actually impressive how exhausting a travel day is when all you do is sit on your ass the entire day. You slept um, a little bit longer than me, but yes. No, oh, on the flight? Yes. Oh, on the flight, yeah, yeah. But then the next night we slept, like the actual night we slept, we slumbered. It's passed out. Absolutely slumbered. I think I got a 92 rating on my Aura sleep tracking ring. Wow, yeah, that's great. It was, it was really good. Okay. Um, Woke up, went to a nostalgic bagel place. What was it called? The Great Bagel? The way that you say bagel always confuses me, but yes, bagel. So in my head, I want to say bagel. No, and I know. So in my head, it's bagel. I and can so, hear your thoughts on how to oh, say Oh yeah. It. No, like the the prep bagel. in my brain to bagel. say bagel. Yeah. Bagel. Yeah. It takes every brain cell and a little extra to get that out. I can see them flopping together <laughs> I mean, up there. No, they're just, just clapping. clapping away. <laughs> just like clapping. Two brain cells. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, twerking. Um, great bagel. Yeah, no, well, yeah. Great yeah. bagel. Well, that's that. Great it. bagel. Yeah, that's it. If I say it really fast, I think it comes out better. Great bagel. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Great bagel. So anyway, so we went to Great Bagel. And that, that's like, that was that like the hangover place to go? It was one, one of my personal favorites, yeah. It was good. I, to me, and when you walk, walk into a place and order a French toast bagel. Oh my God. Yeah. It was next level. Yeah, they like glaze it up with things that shouldn't be on so bagels good. and then put sour cream. Well, yes. Whoa, Wait, no, no. Cream no, cheese, no. not sour cream. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Actually, speaking of sour cream, does anybody else, um, flip flop between vanilla yogurt. No, it's not. I knew. Oh, no, I it like, literally. It like, no, no. It's plain Greek yogurt in, in re- and sour cream. In place of sour cream because they're, they're very similar. They're gross when exchanged. It's this most. It's. It, I'm not kidding. The very first time we had nachos <laughs> and Lauren brought the yogurt over. It was quesadillas. Thank you for your face. Yes, <laughs> it is revolting. And I, you okay. I, I just feel as if you wouldn't even notice if I didn't tell you. My family, my family, like your Gail's gonna have a bone to pick with you in a few weeks when I've, we go home. I've already brought this up the last time we were here <laughs> yeah, right, and it came out. No, 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 I, I can't. There's my level of self-control. <laughs> that's why we had a baked potato when my mom was here last time. My self-control stops <laughs> when the yogurt comes out from Mexican food. That's weird. I don't know. Just, it's just like one of those it, things that you no. grow up with your family and you don't think it's weird. Yogurt because on no a one- baked potato? Plain Greek yogurt Gordon is very similar Ramsey? to sour cream. Gordon Ramsay would have a a literal meltdown. Or Gordon Ramsay would say that it's innovative. If and when we are in the same room with Master Chef, Master Chef Junior's <laughs> executive producer and host, I, that's the the first and only question I'm asking him. Okay, fine. I can't wait. I can't wait for him to say that. Do you really it's st- innovation? You stand by this? Yeah. Oh no. I stand by this. I can't. You know what? We googled it one time, and and it was like a common thing that you could swap it out. Yeah. I stand by this. Okay. So anyway, so Jeremy had his bagel with um, sour cream on it. You know what it would have been better Ew, with? Cream cheese. What? Yeah, no, I know. That's what you said though, originally. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'd rather have sour cream on a bagel than like yogurt. Really? No, that's gross. They're both gross. Yeah. I'd rather just have cream cheese, damn it. <laughs> I almost feel like the cinnamon toast bagel could have had just butter on it and it would have been even better. Next time we're back, we'll try both. It was really good. 
It was really good. And it was around the corner from your frat house, which I also saw, which genuinely looked like, okay, so like to begin with, just to just to give you, you a visual, this shit was housed a hundred people. Yeah, a lot. That's a, that's a hotel. Yeah. Okay, so then what's the bathroom to bedroom ratio in a hundred person frat house? Um, some were divided by two, some were divided by four. 50 bathrooms? Some were divided by four. Still. A lot. Holy shit. A lot, yeah. That's a lot of bathrooms. Y yeah. And one of them you said was a girl bathroom. It was a girl bathroom, yeah. That's honestly, that's just one or just, or a few? Were there was designated. one that was designated. Yeah. It had, it had a, 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 a skirt. Yeah. On the outside of it. Yeah. Which does not mean, which does not mean that that boys can't wear skirt, skirts. I want to be very clear. In Kentucky, in that fraternity house, it sure did. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be honest. There was, uh, it was very, uh, there was no um, interpretation actually there. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Outside of it? Yes, absolutely. And yeah. then how many floors? Uh, three, technically. I'm just so confused on how many wings of a house you need to make that many bedrooms and bathrooms happen. Well, the corner rooms were the best. Those were those were the biggest party rooms. Hot but commodity. Yeah, those were those big time. And the president's quarters, but yeah, it was it was long. The what quarter? Presidents. Oh, right, right, And yeah. so you got the last year. Well, I refused to live in that thing. Why? Because it was a frat house. I just don't see how any room could be above others in a frat house. I said to myself, as the president, I'm electing not to stay here. Why? Because I was the president and I could do that. Was it gross? No, just the whole house was, I, I don't, the, the thought of, even at my age of 21, I was like, yeah, I don't wanna do that. Cause it's weird. It's, have you ever hung out with a hundred of your closest dude friends? No. It's a lot, it's a lot. Okay. Yeah, like nothing ever smells good. Wait, did you not live in the house? No, never. Oh, oh my God. I refused. Oh my God. I was like, why, if you're living in this like, this disgusting bro house, why would you not want the president's quarters? I was like, no. why would you take the shitty room in the hall and not the president? I was so confused. I fucked off to my own bedroom by myself. Right. In a, in in a, a house. house, in a house, in a house. Two house. miles away. Right, okay. And I came there for part. Whoa, I feel like that was a key piece of context that we did not have. Yeah. Okay, got it. And so- I mean, it was there all the time. Yeah, of course, obviously. And then how many, like, I just like, where do a hundred boys watch The Bachelor on Monday nights to all together? Um, like how many living rooms do you have? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we would just get into our boxers, sit on top of each other, hold hands and just watch the big screen. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, just so cuddle. one living room or multiple living rooms? There was multiple areas, yeah. And then do you have like a whole kitchen staff? Yep. This is fucking crazy. Yep. But then you- It's like a commercial kitchen. I have so many questions. Um, and then, but someone cooks for you. Yes, There's yeah, a, I assure you, none of them are cooking. I was gonna say, I was like, I, no. I can, I would love to see the Three state meals of the kitchen. Day. And then also some snacks. Wow, yeah. and snacks. Yeah. And snacks. Snacks, snackos. How much do you pay to be in a fraternity? I, do, I could not tell you. The reason I was the president was because president didn't need to pay dues and I was broke and everybody else was rich. And I said to myself, the only way I could afford to do this is if I'm the president. How much do you think it is? Just like a rough. Thousands. Devin, can we had a Google? The average, the, the average it cost of fraternity. It, oh, it well, won't average, be listed? Well, no, average would be like. Oh, a thousand per oh, year. It, it's more than that, yeah. Per semester. It's more than that, yeah. It's more than that. It's, it's just, I think the further south you go, the more expensive it gets. Right, or right. like when the, in the West Coast as well. The middle, I think it's a bit of a crapshoot, but uh -huh, it uh -huh. get, the SEC fraternities, expensive. SEC sororities, even more expensive. I feel like I've always heard people talking about how like there's not like controversy, but people give it a bad rap. Cause it's like, oh, you're paying for friendship. You are. <laughs> okay, but but I mean, the wedding that we went to, he obviously made some great friends. <laughs> you know, some, you know, oh yeah. Yeah, that sounds, yeah. $6,000 per semester. What is, what is SCC? What does that stand for? USC? No, that you, that you keep saying S, S. SEC, Southeastern Conference. Oh, Southeastern Conference. Best conference in the world. Best conference when it comes to sports. Best conference when it comes to just about everything but academia. Uh, <laughs> And uh, tuition for your sator sator fraternity. Satoshi, Nakamoto sator sator yeah. sorority house, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Damn. It, yeah, it wasn't cheap. I don't think mine was that much. It definitely wasn't. But I can't believe you didn't live in the house. I, I, this makes so much more sense because when you said that, because we went to Jeremy's roommate's wedding this weekend, but I also knew that you guys weren't in the same fraternity. And so I was very confused how this all fit together. Yep. This makes so much more sense now. Yeah. they. I mean, actually all of us 
skipped out on living in the house. Got it. And just yeah. lived in your own houses, yeah. our own house together yep. off of fraternity, whatever. Yeah. Got it. Like all, slightly off campus. Yeah. Like, oh, like you could walk there. Yeah. Anyways, the experience is that it looks like the fucking movies basically to me, like it looks like Project X where it's just like, it's so crazy that there's just mansion next to mansion, next to mansion. They all have their all their, their stupid little Greek letters on the front of it. And okay. so you don't know what they're actually saying. Uh -huh. And so oh, there's an it's, alphabet. It's, it's, it's got, it's got foreign alien letters on mansions all next to each other on a huge street. It's Greek. That's what I said, foreign alien letters. Arguably the, one of the first languages, but yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's just so, I just can't imagine. It was also just so weird seeing it while school is out. Yeah, it, yeah, it's weird. It was just, it was it's so weird. weird. It was so weird. It's so big yet empty. Yes. Yeah. So it was like a ghost town. Yeah. It literally I, was a ghost town. I was town. surprised at how like much it turned out like downtown during the like evenings. I was thinking that too. Yeah, like, I mean, when, if when you had seen like, it otherwise, you'd be like, what prepped me for there just being like no one there. And then the weekend was like pretty popping. I, I did not want any more popping. No, 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 we did not. It was already, it was popping to the max. The popping had been popped and it did <laughs> not need to be too much popping. Yes, there had been any more, but unbearable. Calm down the popping. <laughs> no, it was, um, <laughs> it was just enough for you to get like a little bit of taste, I feel like, mm -hmm. of like mm -hmm. the college bar life. But mm -hmm. like those were not the college bars that I would have taken you had school been in session. Right. So we went down the frat house row and then we went to the University of Kentucky merch store, Ooh. which was, the size of a Nordstrom. Yep. The size of a big Nordstrom, like not a small one, not, not like a, a Nordstrom. city Nordstrom. Uh, it was it was the size of a of a two story large Nordstrom. It was large. I've yeah. never seen so much blue in my entire life. Kentucky blue. I've never seen so much Kentucky blue in my yeah. entire life. Well, yeah, it, yeah. It's um, it goes with nothing and everything all at the same time. So we spent two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I'm shocked it wasn't more. <laughs> I know, me too. What do we get? What's the haul? We got, I got a crew neck. A lot of moose things. A lot of moose things. We got a really cute little UK oh, sweater for puppies. I know. Sweater on. I haven't put the sweater on. I was going to say it for the vlog. Oh, the vlog gets the best content? The vlog does get the best content. <sighs> Whatever. Um, The sweater for bubbies. We got a little pillow for bubbies. We did. And you got two hats? Yeah, two hats. Do you got a sweater? No sweater. No sweater. You got a sweater. I got a sweater. Yeah. Um, so did a little haul, did a little shopping. You're so um, uh, interested and down for uh, being a fan of things. I love being a fan. Yeah. I like love being a fan. Great spectator. I'm such a good spectator. Wonderful I'm participator. I'm such a good participant. Yeah, you just wanna be invited. I just wanna be invited. I just wanna, I just wanna be involved. I just wanna be invited. Like I love the tailgate situation. I love like wearing the gear, the merch. I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this because it, the thought of it makes me like, like what I heard old thing about, we just like got back. But it would be interesting oh to find a weekend that allowed you to see football or basketball or both uh -huh. when school was in session and allowed you to, uh, you know, drink beer at 8.30 in the morning. I don't drink beer and I don't want to drink really at 8.30 unless it's a mimosa. And then also that I get a nap in the afternoon, but I would love to do that. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I would, I have so much, there was actually this, oh, there was the cutest like, one shoulder tank top that was white and had the little UK logo in the little middle of it. It was super cheerleading and it was so cute. And like, I couldn't justify wearing it because I would only look like a weird cheerleader out of state if I were to wear that here. Yeah, And like, it wouldn't be comfortable enough that you would just like wear it around the house because no. it was like too cute. And it, in that moment, in that tank top, like I saw the life that I could have lived in Kentucky. Or any like sub, really any school that didn't like exist in a city. Right, is I, I couldn't go to any schools that their colors were orange or yellow because those aren't good with my skin tone, but right. anywhere else. So sorry, Tennessee. No, Tennessee. Oh yeah, definitely no, I've seen their orange. No, That's Missouri. not for me. No, Missouri, are yeah. they yellow? Yeah. Wow, very good. I just guessed that because Tennessee was orange. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I, I, I had flashes of what my life could have been like as a sorority girl. I think it'd be great. I think I would have been so good. Yeah. I think my body count would be much, much higher than it is now. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You think you would have had uh, more coitus? Yes. Yes. More coital partners? Yes. More Got coital it. partners. What do you think your, your number would have been had you had four years of literal fuckery? <laughs> Single fuckery? Yeah. Like, what do you think it would have added to that? How many do you think you would have knocked down? Okay. I'm nervous for- Do you think, do you, think you would have done more freshman year, senior year, or somewhere in between? I think somewhere in between. Okay. When do you think you topped out? And then I'll, I'll see if that, like that, that, uh, what do you mean I topped out? I'm, ha I'm, I'm having a deja vu at this moment right now. We for sure have had that conversation. Yeah, seriously. No. Um, do you think, what year do you think you're poised to have the highest volume 
of coitus. Of new partner coitus. coitus. I would say second or third year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think first year you're like feeling it out. You know what I mean? Like you're like a little nervous to be there. Yeah. And also like, I feel like, I mean, this is what the movies make it seem that is that like freshmen are just fresh meat. And so everyone's preying on you. You know what I mean? Like you're like the new, new kids and it feels like a little more creepy. Yep. Where it's like, you wouldn't want to just like throw yourself at all the seniors. Okay. And then I feel like in second and third year, you start like sussing out a little more. Okay. Like make some more educated decisions, but you've known people for a little longer as well too. I think, I could be wrong, but I okay. have a feeling you would not necessarily have one specific year that would be the biggest. I have a feeling you would as a female, specifically you, uh -huh. if you went to a sorority yeah. and you were as cute as you are today. Um, Thank you. Maybe even cuter. Thank you. No, that's not, that was an insult. Oh. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think you would have it actually the second semester of your freshman year and first Ooh. semester of your sophomore year. Is that second year? Yeah. 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 I think like the, I think that you would bookend it. I think you would like come to your senses after a semester of like rushing right. or maybe even a sophomore year. Like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm going to go crazy and do that for one more semester. That's what I said. I said sophomore year. But I think, year. It would, I think it would start the second half of the year because okay. you could like come back and be like, I'm not going to do what I did last semester. I'm not going to like Brad for like seven weeks and talk to him and waste my time. And I'm not going to talk to Chad. No, I'm not going to talk to. Okay. But like if Steven does give me the time of day, I am ready to settle down and get married right now. Okay. <laughs> but if Steven doesn't, I'm ready to do something else. Okay. So I think you would do that and think you would book the end that into the freshman year. Okay. And then you would hit Christmas and you would go, it's time for me. <laughs> now that I'm the age of 20. The girl bossification. Now that I'm 20 <laughs> to start settling down and like be who I want to be. And, and be is, serious. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. I mean, just my thoughts. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, maybe I'm just speaking from my, my own experience, but I feel like my first semester down in Kentucky, I was like, ah, so many options. And then. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was really just, um, Standards got lower and um, alcohol consumption got higher. Got higher. And then um, mm -hmm. now we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think also too, like in the, the whatever the, is it rushing for girls too? Is it still called yeah. rushing? In the rushing process, I feel like I would be scared to sleep with someone like well, you while you're rush, making. Okay, pause. You rush before you're given like your, essentially your, your offer to join oh, and then you're pledging. Okay, let me rephrase that. Not during the rushing. I feel like during the first semester when you're like trying to make friends and like right. navigate your way, you right. wouldn't want to accidentally sleep with someone that's going to piss other people off. And Cause you don't know like the you don't politics. Want to do that. But I assure you a lot of people do and um, they wish that they had not. Right, 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 right. So right. I'm, I'm just saying that like my freshman strategy going into that right. 19 years ago would have been somewhere along those lines. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then? <laughs> And then what, when they, what do you mean? And then what? And then once you got into it, you're just like ready to go? Yeah, I think so. Just full sausage fest, throw it at you? Yeah, let's go. Got it, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I love, I just <laughs> wish that I could see the version of you mm -hmm. today. Actually, I don't know if I want that. Nah, fuck it. I wish I could see the version of you today, 734 penises later and a Southern- That is so many penises. Uh, it's a lot. And especially out of context. <laughs> so many penises. A lot of dicks. It's like um, the first like couple of episodes of Euphoria plus- um, Yeah, yeah. What's the show with uh, Jake from New Girl? Oh, um, 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 um- Or Nick, I mean. Foxy, no, no, no. Minx, Minx. 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 It's like Minx, Minx. Euphoria combined. All the weenies. Just everywhere. Everywhere, We're, just- yeah. Flopping around, slapping around. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that could have been an option for me. It definitely could have been an option. By the way, me. I think it still is, technically. Well. I mean, you could go to a university in the South and you could rush a sorority at your age. I would, I would fit right in though. I think you would. Like age-wise? Yeah. Age-wise, I would look the exact, maybe even younger than a lot of those people. May, well now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you kidding yeah. me? Yeah. Okay, well, listen, here, I'm here to tell you, if you need that <laughs> four year journey, I'm not gonna wait, but I do, um, I, you know, wish you luck. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Burnout is a real thing. And when you aren't paying attention to how your mind is feeling, it can definitely catch up to you. When you're in a go mode all the time and don't take a minute for yourself, it can all come crashing down. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. I've been trying to avoid letting all of this pile on and spark my anxiety, and that's why I love having better help on my side. I know burnout for me usually means I've been working six days straight on minimal sleep while I may not realize it at the moment. It's extremely stressful on my mind and body. BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. 
Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. Sometimes that's all you need is to talk to someone and have someone really listen. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Wild Till 9 listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash WT9. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash WT9. We went to a bar, just like a super chill bar that night for like post whatever drinks mm-hmm. with the um the the, the group. Party. Yeah, the bridal yeah. party. And that place was cute, that place was normal. Mm-hmm. And then Bluegrass Tavern. Bluegrass Tavern. And then we went <sighs> to what I did not expect to be the first club that I would ever go to in Kentucky. You, I, genuinely could be the first club I went to in Kentucky. Mama Tequila? Yeah. It's a tough sell for me. Mama Tequila. Yeah, it wouldn't be my first choice. Not where I thought, and then it was just, it would just, uh, uh, going to one bar that we also ended up at for one drink the next night after the wedding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that place, that was, um, they call it Stagger Inn because you stagger in. Oh my God, that's such a good name. Yeah. That is such a good name. It's I-N-N, I believe too. Yeah, yeah no, it, yeah, it is I-N-N. In. Yeah. But the wedding overall was beautiful. Gorgeous. It was absolutely stunning. Yep. First I was at a winery. It was so nice. They had to like make the call to like bring the wedding inside. And All good. I'm sure that that was so much drama. I cannot even imagine what like, whatever the room is where all of like the bridesmaids and the bride are like getting their hair and makeup done, the chaos. Well, remember like seven seconds after we got there, we saw Lauren, the wife, wife bride, my now, buddy's now fiance. Bride, yeah. yeah, basically out, outside of the elevator, she's like, well, our entire honeymoon got canceled and all the transportation for tomorrow also did get canceled, but that's okay. I'm gonna get my spray tan. I'll be great. <laughs> She handled it like a pro and everything went great. And now they're in Cabo. Thriving. Yeah. Absolutely thriving. Yeah. Um, so winery, winery wedding. You know what though? After going to that wedding and seeing like the ceremony, I have made the executive decision. Uh, executive decision. Yeah. Executive decision that, and I think that we both have agreed that like, you know, if things travel in the positive trajectory towards a wedding that we would do something like really, really small and like do a big party afterwards. But in the event that we were to do a big wedding, one of my only rules would be no babies. Zero children. Zero babies. Zero no one children. under the age of 17. 17. <laughs> Maybe 16. Realistically, 12 and under. Even then. Fine. 16 and under. 16 and under. Uh, do we just go crazy and just be like, anyone who's not allowed to drink can't come? I think 18. <laughs> okay. 18. 16 is probably fine. 16 yeah. year olds aren't shitting their pants for the most part. I, I wouldn't put it back. Circle back on our last episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I genuinely, well, and you know, I know it's hard for parents. And I know it's it's difficult, but I, I genuinely don't even want to put them in a position where mm-hmm. they feel like they have to either grab their kid and you know uproot them outside. Oh my God, it's stressful for everyone involved. Yeah, it's like not their fault, but also I just don't think that I'm, uh, this sounds like it's a dick thing. I just have no interest in uh, your kid being at my wedding. Unless it's like immediate family, like that makes nope. sense. <laughs> Okay, so like there was, there were, I'm not kidding, simultaneously during the ceremony, during the- I'd rather pay for a babysitting service. I also would pay for a babysitting yeah. service for anyone. Yeah. yeah. Your dog can come, your baby cannot come. Dogs, welcome. Yeah, welcome. We do. That's, that'd be great. While- I might even make that mandatory. While the groom was de- like delivering his, the, like the most beautiful vows, both of them, like incredible vows, like delivered also, like I'm always so impressed. Yeah. That's, That's what, what it sounded like. That's what From two different yeah. babies. Yeah. Like, for, and so one parent just gave up, just didn't give a fuck. They weren't even like trying to, and it was the baby that was sitting right in front of us. They and weren't I, even trying to like contain it. And you know, you can like, you know, you're sitting behind somebody and you could see, despite not actually being able to see their face, uh-huh. they've given up just. That's what it was. They just given up. They just given up. And then there was another dad who which, had, he was like putting, he's cupping his hand over the baby's mouth, yeah. which was also, also <laughs> neither approach was effective. Nope. And it was just in that moment, like, also I was thinking, I was like, dear God, I hope, I hope that when they are watching like their wedding video back, I hope that they're capturing the audio from the microphones and not from like the room because of like their their wedding video will just be completely screamed over by a, a baby. I'm thinking to myself, actually, we could invite kids and just also invite a professional blow dart person. And the moment a kid so much as says, no, 
Let me damn neck done. Just sleep a, for eight a, hours. Oh yeah, sleep. I sleep. No, we're not going to permanently take the. Yeah, you know what? Out. That's where I thought that was going. I was that like, would be damn. Re- be that's re- dork. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we'll just get um you know a Hawkeye of blow darts just like. Yeah. Done. Just sits. Yeah, it gets like um above the aerial view of yep. everyone and just mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. And then as payment, uh, repayment, I should say. Right. Uh, we would give them back with a bunch of Smarties candies to eat and uh-huh. then hand them back to their parents and say, thank you, by the way, for bringing your child. Sounds good. So the way that there's off the walls bouncing for, you know, yeah, no, no, no. I'm totally aligned with this. Yeah, great. I'm totally aligned. Yeah, but there's no moment um, at a wedding ever that I've been so clear that I would never want children at my wedding. Yeah, I, I think it's a great, thank you to Rob and Lauren for giving us the example that we the did clarity. not- Yeah, that we the clarity. are, we no longer are interested in allowing to happen. Yeah. Yeah. The absolute clear. And there was another kid sitting in front of me who was, I think the older brother of the screaming child that was just quietly playing on his iPad, some like some uh, like monster truck jump game. And I was like, why is this kid even here? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that 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 tracks. That, that It does track. Yeah. It does track. What do you think that those kids got the, um, the, uh, the Brian Groom on the um, wedding registry? Um, I think they got them some shitty audio on their wedding video. That's what I get that they got them. I, I think there's some moms and dads that are listening and are going, you fucking assholes. You know what though? I like those angry parents, if they look deep down in their soul, know that although they probably could have a beautiful time with their children with them at a wedding, they also could probably have a beautiful time having a mom and dad night out while they have a babysitter at home. That sounds like a win-win, honestly. I, like I said, as long as we offer the option of at least one or two sitters yeah. professionally. Or the blow dart. I said one or two sitters, one sitter, <laughs> one sits you down. Uh, yeah, I think it's good to go. I think it's a great plan. Yeah, I um, uh, that and also it just, it, it's clear and clear how the party afterwards is so much, it's equally as important as the ceremony because all the fun and the things that I remember from that were, we're post actual ceremony. Oh my God, hundred percent. Like it was beautiful. And you know what? I don't know what's wrong. No, I do know what's wrong. what's wrong with me. I'm just obviously have two brain cells, but also that I'm just wildly emotional because in their wedding, I barely, I've only, I've only, we've only hung out with them a few times. Like since, you know, us being together, like you guys have a core friendship from way before my time. Right. And I wanted to cry in their wedding. Yeah, I, I wanted to cry through their wedding. Yeah, but that makes sense for you. You've known them forever. Yeah, You've totally. seen their relationship. I, uh, yeah. I've hung out with them twice. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and like, as she was walking down the aisle and her parents looked so beautiful, her mom really was the most, or was that Rob's mom? Rob's mom. I don't think I actually met Lauren's mom, but- I don't think I've met her Lauren's mom. Rob's mom was like aged in a way that was so impeccable. Yep. Like when I saw her in her arms, I was like, my tattoos are gonna look great when I'm this old. <laughs> Lauren's mom, I'm Lauren. Lauren literally goes, I wanna look that good when I'm her age. The nice thing you ever said. Yeah, hundred percent. Are you kidding me? She looked amazing. She did. She looked absolutely amazing. Um, and where was it going? Good this? for Rob's dad. Good for good for Rob's. They they both look great. They both look great. They look exactly like Rob. And it's you were like, going back to you wanted to make sure that your mom knew that your arms are going to look good with your tattoos when yes. you're older. Got it. Yes. You wanted to really make that point. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you feel good about that? <laughs> I think you may have twisted the words a little bit. Okay. But what I did want to say is that it was a beautiful wedding, and that I wanted to cry, and I was on the verge of tears, which felt stupid because I barely even know them. But it was a beautiful wedding, and her dress was gorgeous. They did have a bridesmaid incident. Um, with Whoa. the dress. Oh my God, that was so much drama. I'm sure this sent every bridesmaid into an absolute tilly. Cause I think the maid of honor was the- A tilly? You mean a tizzy? <laughs> or did they, did they all just become Wild Till Nine fans? They all just became Wild Till Nine fans. Great. The tillies. Um, yes, into a tizzy. So I guess one of the bridesmaids, they had all tried on their dresses or whatever and had them ordered and custom made and sent to their houses or whatever after they'd done their fittings. And one of the bridesmaids after, you know, having already approved the dresses, they shipped it to her in the wrong color and not like not like a shade or two off. Like we're talking like like a like a pink fuchsia to cocoa. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not even close. Yeah. And this is the day before the wedding, twenty four hours, and so people are spiraling. And you know, if this happened in New York or L A or Chicago or some of the bigger cities, I'm sure that you could track something down. But they we're, we're in Lexington. We're in Lexington, baby. It's like a smallish city. Yep. A, a small big city. You know what? When I saw people stand around the block to get you know a, a pack of toys of paper, not but 18 months ago. Um, Who knows if wedding dresses are really that easy to get to? They're not. Yeah. I know that they're not. Especially, I don't know, the right size. 
And so the poor boyfriend of the bridesmaid who was uh, had the, the wrong colored dress sent to her. And so like, at first I was like, okay, but like, why the fuck would she open it the night before? Like, are you kidding? But like, I, I get it. I get the process. Like you've already seen the dress. You've already tried it on. You did your fittings and they, they fucked up and they sent the wrong one. Well, also it's not like you have the other dresses there to compare it to. Oh my like God. You're comparing it yeah. against nothing else. Right, right, exactly. And you're like, oh yeah, this is a dress I tried on. Cause I'm right. sure it was months ago. And so the poor, poor boyfriend was running around from Uber to Uber to like bridal shop to bridal shop with both dresses, the wrong dress and the right dress, just like showing up sweating, like, please help me. Like, it's not like there are a ton of <laughs> options, but they're probably all 25 minutes apart and you get there. And oh my it's God. Not, it's not like anyone who's like in the New York speed. Everyone's yes. like, okay, give yes. me both. We'll look at it. Actually, yes. these are two skews. It's like, we'll have a seat. I told you we had it. I'm gonna go get it from the back. Did you want something to drink? And I would scream. And I'd be like, I just wanna see the fucking dress, please. I would scream. And then another, was it another bridesmaid who like by God was able to sew. Oh, and yeah. Cause it was like four sizes too big. And so she spent the whole day sewing this poor girl's dress. Like redoing the dress. It's when they like oh, take yeah. it in. This no, no, was no. like, let's cut it and remove and, yes, 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 from yes, everywhere. Yes. And it looked great. Also like leave it to somebody in the South to be able to like, no, 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 no worries. I can sew a little bit. It's like, just restructure the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. can't be easy. They said that she spent the entire time on the phone with her mom and the mom was walking her through it as well too. Of course, someone's mom also knows how to like reconstruct a dress. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. And shout out to that boyfriend who ran around the entire city the entire day to um, rectify the situation. You ready for some clickbait? Yeah, what's the clickbait? Well, it's actually not clickbait, it's real. We went ring shopping. Are we gonna talk about this? Might as well. Oh my God. It's about weddings. Oh my God, okay. Why wouldn't we? E! <laughs> Quietly screams. Qu e! e! Uh, we, <laughs> I feel like we more than anything discovered what you don't like. And also that you liked something that you thought you would have never liked. We, uh, oh my God, I cannot recommend to go ring shopping because I, we know we learned so much. You cannot recommend to go ring shopping enough. I, is that what I said? I cannot recommend to go ring shopping. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, okay, cool. I, fuck me. I cannot mm -hmm. recommend mm. enough to go ring shopping. <laughs> I recommend to go ring shopping. <laughs> I go ring shop. <laughs> Two brain cells clapping Just away. Just twerking, <laughs> throwing the cheeks together. So uh, uh, I took Ron, Ron. I took Wowen <laughs> ring shopping and <laughs> We went to a couple spots mm -hmm. in Beverly Hills and one was a really great spot and was really helpful and really interesting and really uh, great to see. Yep. One, fucking Tiffany's was a miserable experience. Absolutely miserable. And I would- Thank God we weren't actually looking to buy a ring that day. Uh, Thank I mean, God. I don't know who hired that guy, but man, if anyone actually buys anything from him, I luckiest sales ever. Yeah, seriously. Miserable. But back to the good experiences. All you did was find out things that you would have, I. I, I was told mm -hmm. and was made aware of that you would have never been interested in. And mm -hmm. it was fascinating to see. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, no, we learned so much. We also just like learned about the, um, like the structure, the different things that like, like the little tiny prongs that go this way that hold the diamond up. They can go this way or this way. Little baguettes, they can go like this or they can be little ovals on the side of the diamonds. And this is not the bread variety. Yeah, not the bread variety. Yeah. Yeah, baguettes. Also, why do they keep using names like baguettes with a, a ring? styles. Why can't it be a baguette? It can, but when I think of a baguette, I think of a long loaf of wood, wood, a long <laughs> loaf of bread. Yeah, but they're baguette, the, the, they were like mini baguettes on the side of the yeah, diamond. I know, I know. I, mean, I thought them? it was a good name. I don't think I'm like diamond coasters. Diamond coasters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coasters like, are round. These were not round. These okay. were, they were literally baguette shaped. I don't know what more you could want from that. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Maybe like a grain of rice, like a fat grain of rice. Maybe yeah, a thick rice, yeah. Thick rice. Anyway. Here's the thick rice cut of our four carat ring. <laughs> but um, we decided to go to a store that was uh, painfully expensive, but has great quality. I tried on a ring. I almost shot myself when I saw it. And like, this is not a place where you like you, I can't believe, you know what? I was actually shocked that they had price tags on these rings. Cause normally at a place like that, when they're that expensive, they just like, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Right. Anyway, this was a four carat diamond worth $110,000. Fortunately, it looked too big. It did look too big. Four carats is a, that's a huge rock. It, it was, your fingers are not that, um, they're not shaped for a four carat ring. You're welcome. Thank God. Yeah, you're welcome. In the uh, episode I was watching of Bling Empire, she was trying on, she actually bought herself a 10 carat diamond ring. They were in the diamond district in uh, LA, 10 carrots. It was the size of your face. It was 
huge. I have a 10 carat, okay, yeah. You have a 10 carat face. Do I? Yes, that's what size your face is, 10 carats. Is it because it's like worth that much? Yes. Great, Thank 10 carat face. Yeah, uh, I think um, it's gonna be smaller than four. But what's weird is like, and not to make this a ring tangent, the, and I, like, it just seems so different than the last time I went on this little uh, safari. This foray. This, this little foray into this. The size <laughs> of the actual diamond, uh -huh. depending on the actual ring structure, changes. Yeah. Like there was- a, Everything. A, like the, the biggest one outside the four that we saw, like we saw twos, we saw threes. There was this one that was a carrot and a half that just looked bigger than mm -hmm. everything else mm -hmm. because of the way it was just sat. Literally, yeah. we learned so much. And so I had a very clear image of what I thought I wanted, which was a gold band with just like a round solitaire cut diamond. And I don't think it's gonna end up being super far from where we land, but I tried on a pave band that's got like all the little diamonds on the band. Mm -hmm. And when I took it off, I was like, oh, everything is fucking boring. You know what actually um, I really realized during the wedding, I wonder if it would be better to do a non pave band and mm -hmm. then the wedding ring is your pave. I thought about that as well too, but then I have also seen a pave <laughs> with a pave. Oh. And those also are pretty nice. You're telling me that it would be better if I got diamonds yes. with diamond and then yes. I got another band with more diamonds. Yes. That's so helpful. Yes. And here's a word from 19 of our sponsors. <laughs> to pay for that ring. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, um, I also was thinking too, that like so many people don't wear a wedding, wedding ring anymore. A lot of people right. just wear their engagement ring. Yeah. So I think just in case we decide that we don't want to do totally. a wedding, we should probably do the pave band I love for the is, engagement ring. All we, 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 we. We, 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 we. Cryptocurrency is in a great place right now. So just let me know what you want. We'll just write and that we'll check. Just <laughs> great. You mean we'll get that loan? Yeah, yeah thank God I didn't take a 99% cut this year. Um, no, <laughs> I uh, I thought it was interesting. I'm glad we went. I think we need to go again. Yeah, no, we, so we only tried on, um, so again, that expensive place was um, was so expensive. Oh, that no, they, by the way, Harry Winston was a fantastic experience and the yes. guy that they had there. Incredible. Wonderful. But they only do platinum because um, anything except for platinum can have the slightest little tints. It colors the- um, It colors the, the diamonds, diamonds yeah. and everything is such good quality and like of the finest craft that has to be surrounded by platinum. Yeah, so do you think she was, you don't think she was sold the uh, the sales line there? And it, I mean, I'm sure that there is some truth to that, but I'm like, sure. okay, nerds, come on. Yeah, I know. So anyways, we haven't tried on anything gold yet because Tiffany also, which was literally the worst experience ever. I mean, once, first off, last mm -hmm. time I got engaged, I bought a Tiffany ring and I would never do it again. And my experience here, and this, this this first one, will keep me far, far away from there for Ever. hopefully the rest of my days. Yeah, I, I also yeah. am, I'm on board with that. What about <laughs> Tiffany? We'll have to go back to Cartier. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll go downtown. Yeah, yeah, It'll yeah, I'm so excited. So or if anybody has any great ring folks, just throw them in there. Yeah, ring folk? Yeah, Yeah, tag folks. your best ring folk down below. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm thinking Jared, uh, Zales. Every kiss begins with K. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the average um, ring wearer, mm -hmm. spe specifically the ring recipient, mm -hmm. uh, is afraid of almost making it known that they wanna go shopping before? Oh my God, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's like, if, like, it's just like an awkward conversation too, because like one, I feel like sometimes one of the partners can be offended, like yeah. in the sense that like, oh, well, you don't trust me to get you something that you like. Yeah. But I mean, on the flip side, like I I genuinely didn't know what I liked until we went shopping. Well, and once I thought I knew more or less what you would like. Yeah. And I did know that. And I'm so glad that um, I didn't believe you <laughs> and we have gone and we're going again because otherwise we would have gotten something that you would have not have like, Hundred percent. I'm, sure, I'm sure we've been totally fine. It would've been yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, it would've been totally fine. But yeah. uh, if you have, if you're on the fence about it, mm -hmm. I feel like, but the thing is, as a guy, I'm trying to think to myself, how would I want that brought up if I wasn't the one who offered to take you? Right. <sighs> but see, like, I don't think that I would ever, I don't think I would ever you propose would, that idea. Would, okay, but would you have started to seed? I mean, I think you see all the TikToks of the TikToks of girls seeding, like okay. they'll start, you know what? I saw one recently where the girl picked up the guy's phone and like, obviously like if, if we start talking about B talk, right? The amount of people who probably got B talk on their TikTok after that episode of the podcast, where we talked about B talk, mm -hmm. like they would pick up their boyfriend's phone and just be like, um, princess cut four carrots, <laughs> like double pave band. <laughs> and they would just like yell things into the phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they, I think there's like- They would manifest the yeah. TikTok? 
Got it. Well, not quite. Yeah, I guess manifest through the algorithm. Got it. Like the ads that they, they might would start getting. Speak the truth, yeah. Right. Or Got they it. would they would pick up their phone and like they would search a whole bunch of like rings so that hopefully the next ads right. that get served up would They're be like, rings. Allow cookies, allow cookies, yeah. allow cookies, allow <laughs> cookies, allow cookies. Yeah. Exactly. Go in and like edit the actual like Facebook, like what you're interested in. You exactly. Just, like, add in just like engaged. rings, engagement, Diamonds. weddings, yeah. proposals. Mm -hmm. Um, so I don't I don't know how people approach that because especially if Cause I feel like it's just like such a common scenario of a girl being ready and the guy not being ready. And so for a girl to propose that question, I feel like if there's been any strain on that dynamic to begin with, proposing that question pushes that strain even further. In my past relationships, I would have never done that. I think you need to enlist the help of friends. Okay, but also I I would have told my friends what I thought that I wanted and- like, no, 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 I think you need to list the help of friends uh -huh. to- Oh, to start planting seeds. That, that they need to ask you. That they need to ask. Yeah. The recipient, what? I think that like you need the help of friends, uh, all genders here, to almost seed the idea that one, uh, asking or throwing it out there to get a little bit of confirmation. Okay would be in their benefit, okay. not yours, of course, their benefit. Uh -huh. And just find a way to like make that, you know, a, a very like, um, how do we say this? The, the opportunity to uh, confirm mm -hmm. in person preferably mm -hmm. would be no sweat off their nose and only protection later on mm -hmm. from something embarrassing. Mm, yeah. I agree. I agree. If yeah. if there's no world where you're able to shop together, I definitely agree. Yeah. But also, like, I think about my like gaggle of friends who are also all oh, I've got wildly it. different. I fucking got it. I got it. I what's, got it. What's the answer? All right. All right. What's the key to success? Manipulation one on one. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Here's what you do. You know what? You 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 position it that to buy yourself more time. Okay. As the ring purchaser, if you take them ring shopping, mm -hmm. that means their mind's in the right place. You could show forward motion, but you don't necessarily have to buy it, right? And mm -hmm. in the same process, you figure out what they like, what they don't like. And then, you know, you of course can wait a little bit until they forget about that so they're not thinking about it all the time, but then you're in the driver's seat. Put that into their, their minds. That's a much better way to position it. Uh, buy yourself some time, my guy. I just feel as if I was on the opposite side of that and I did not want to actually buy myself some time. I would be like, I don't even want to be the driver in this car. Right. Cause think about all the boyfriends and obviously this could be girlfriends too, but mm -hmm. I just feel like the the stereotypical scenario is the boyfriend who doesn't want to go to the next step. Yeah, I think we're um we're addressing that guy. Yeah, we're addressing yeah. that guy. Or or that girl. And so if if the argument was, oh, you should do this because it'll buy yourself more time, uh -huh. he'd be like, Well, no, I don't want to get her excited for this. I don't wanna I don't wanna be yeah, in this you, car. He's a big guy, you're in control. Don't worry, but big you're guy. in control. You do this and you're over there in the driver's seat. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Like, I think that's really the only way you're gonna be able to get it done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like you wanna really buy yourself some time. Another year in fact. But also like going back to your other approach, I have some friends that I would trust to say on my behalf if I would like or not, but I've got some other friends who would really steer you in the wrong fucking direction. I would go out on a limb and say that the majority of your friends would in, in, in good faith and in their best intentions, uh -huh. really fuck this up for you. I potentially can do that as well. Yeah. I, I can think of two or three friends that I would trust to be like, yeah, I think she'll like that or not. You know what, after taking you ring shopping, I don't even trust you. I second that wholeheartedly. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, find a way to bring it up. Yeah. Save yourself Yeah. or You're right. get a receipt. Get a receipt. <laughs> I actually know a girl that traded up her ring. Um, it wasn't like a trade up situation because I, I know that there are lots of circumstances where someone's like, oh, like we're in a different financial position than we were five years ago when we got married or whatever. Or the ring you picked. It's just ugly. Well, yeah, so this girl just hated the ring. And like, I think a couple months later, they just went and got something else. But that's kind of what happens if you pick something up that they hate. Also a quick um, thought, just to uh, get this out of the way. There are heart-shaped engagement rings. Holy shit, even at the Harry Winston place where it would have been like an $80,000 heart-shaped ring. And like, I'm sure there's somebody out there that would love a heart-shaped ring. You know what it probably is? It's probably the really, really rich people that have like, like, a hundred different five carat rings. Like no one's buying that as their, as their nope, one. Nope, someone is, someone is. You think? Oh, they would not go, they would not produce You're right. that many and stick them in the engagement ring counter. You're right. If we well, asked, we're like, how often do these Charlie, get sold? Charlie, Chad or, 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 or Brad. Brad. <laughs> fucking Brad goes, oh, it's engagement. I'll get the heart shaped one. She'll love that. 
that we should think about me when she looks at the heart. It goes, I am her whole heart. Purchase now, please. <laughs> Do you have layaway? Yeah, no, I, I think that's that someone's done that. <sighs> You're right. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe the recipient, the ring recipient loved it. Maybe. Wouldn't be me. You said you wanted a- Wouldn't be me. You said you wanted a, a, a an onyx colored uh, band uh -huh. with a heart shaped yes. yellow diamond. Yes. Great. That's exactly what I want. Sold. That's exactly what I want. Um, so we got, we got one more, should, can we go this weekend? Uh, oh wait, it's a long weekend. Is it? I think so, Memorial Day, right? Oh, we can go. Yes! Oh, God. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Screams in girl. <laughs> I just hope my car get delivered. <laughs> Um, okay, welcome to this new exciting segment of the pod called oh. We Show Jeremy Fun Tiki Talks. <laughs> Tiki Talkies for Jeremy. Okay. Tiki Talkie for Jeremy. All right, which one am I watching? And for our audio listeners, obviously we're gonna be showing the Tiki Talkies as well as we show them to Jeremy. So if you also wanna watch the Tiki Talkies along with Jeremy as he watches the Tiki Talkies, um, they will be on the video version. Oh God. Okay, here we go. I I've, appreciate I've, you curating these for me. Oh, right? I've curated some real good ones. Okay, so I can't remember the order that I sent them to you. So just go ahead and open that first one. Okay. Hey, hang on, hang on. This one needs this one needs audio. Do you about it? Your is your audio up? Yes, my audio is up. This is very important. Yep, and my audio is up. <laughs> There's a teaser. <laughs> Tiki Talkies for Jeremy, part one. <laughs> Please, please, can we get one? Please, please. We have one. Please. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> Look at his little smile. <laughs> it's looping again. Oh my God. Please, can we have one? Please, please. We have one. His name is Moose. He's right there. Please. No. I know. Doesn't he give such moose tendencies? It's the way that he's sitting too. <laughs> and he's just, it's like- And he's smiling. He is, his, he has the, the, the body shape of an eggplant. So does Moose. <laughs> Thank you for admitting that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Uh, no, we can't get one. I, who? I love this segment can anyone? Can anyone just have a pig? So, okay. There's a lot of controversy around mini pigs because a lot- Is this there's a miniature like, pig? Or is it a baby pig? I'm not entirely sure. It might be like a toddler pig. Okay. I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't. I didn't really do a dive. A deep Got dive. It. You're on, on a pig talk. Um, I am. A, I am on pig talk. Well, I will be I, now. I, Thank I, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to improve your for you page so much. No. You are so welcome. I want golf talk and war talk. No, no, no. We are um, bee talk and pig talk. No. Sorry. <laughs> Please no. Please. Um, no, but it, it's controversial because there are some really unethical breeders who are trying to sell mini pigs as like the, uh, apparently there just is actually no such thing as actually a mini pig. And it's just like really unhealthy runs and they put them on, you know. Isn't that kind of what Moose is? Uh, no, he's a baby. He's, he's a baby. He's <laughs> just a baby. Did you want to watch another TikTok? Yes. <laughs> Which one? Oh God. Oh, what the fuck is that song? Nah, oh my God. Another dude. Babe, I need. Ew. Why are you playing with Ew. it? I need. Fucking gross. I need to do this to your beard, they please. Just, they just picked out like, what is that? It's when there's an ingrown one. I don't have ingrowns. Yes, you do. That is fucking disgusting. Jeremy, please. please. That's disgusting. I would give so much to, you have like one ingrown one that I want to, I, I want. Would, Oh, holy <laughs> shit. I don't know if it's satisfying. more painful or disgusting. Why is he letting her do this? Most boyfriends do. No. Yes. That's fucking gross. Yes. Ew. For, first of all, it's huge, the thing that comes out. I know, it's like when, when multiple hairs get stuck in one follicle. Then they're just trying to have a little party with themselves. Let them be. No, let them out. No. Let them out. Oh, if they were supposed to come out, they would come out. Let them out. No, <laughs> stay where they are. <laughs> If they're supposed to come out, they'll come out. It's ew, uh, fucking gross. You have one, you have one that's like this. And I look at it every day wishing How I long could has let it them been out. There? Not that long. They don't, just let them be. Ask me the question again. How long has it been there? Like so long, babe, like you need to let me let them out, please, no, please. No, if it's been there a long time, it deserves to stay there. 
<laughs> Let them I, rest. I knew you were gonna have too many answers. God damn it. Oh, I'm just, I saw this and I was like, oh, please. I, I, I legitimately want- All I want is a mini pig and to pull out the ingrown hairs in your beard. Okay, is that too much to ask? Okay. The Pave band, I don't need it. I need the mini pig and I need to pull the ingrown hairs So out. we can go ring shopping or you can pull this out. Let me think about it. I'll circle back with you on that, okay? <laughs> okay. The next one. Okay. A black cat <gasps> with a fucking, no what, put that down. Holy shit, there's a fucking snake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, cats are fucked. Yo, cats Get are away fucking from me. A dog would have, would have absolutely been out of there. You know a dog would have run. <gasps> I hate snakes. I hate snakes so much. I mean, aren't they boop noodles? Isn't that what you always said they were? Yeah, they're a boop noodle, but I, I can't believe you remember that I called them a boop noodle. You know, I just, <laughs> why does this cat think it's okay to pick that up? Don't, how do cats ex like survive in the wild if that's their handling skills? Nine lives, baby. But I have more than fucking nine if they're doing that. Oh God, oh, I, I hate it. I also, hate it the so owner much. just seems kind of chill. I don't know what you're gonna do, but like- I love I, that you're still watching this. Like you're probably on your third or fourth time I would, now. We gotta be honest. I'd rather pick up a snake with my mouth than let you dig the fucking fit, like hairs <laughs> out from my beard. <laughs> wow, that's uh, so gross. Please tell me there's one to end on that's not that. I've got two more for you. Okay, great. Okay, we're looking at a flight. We're charging the flight. We're zoomed in on, wait, I don't understand. Wait for it to connect. One more time, give it, give it, give it a little more, give it a little more. What's he doing? Taking a picture? Uh huh. Of what? Her wiki feet score just went up a star because of our guy here. What? That's what he's doing? He's taking a picture of her feet? Uh huh. Look it, look it. Feet. Feet. Uh. And she caught it? Yes, so she's filming him taking a secret sneaky pic of her feet. My guy is bold. My guy <laughs> is daring. My guy is not my guy. <laughs> this is who is on Wikifeet. If you've ever wondered who the user of Wikifeet is, it's this person. Dude, the way he's fucking just like I know, side tapping. I know, I know, I know, is so gross. Dude, it's so who would gross. fucking like guys? I mean, that is just, I, I'm so off. I'm, I'm very bearish on guys right now. This is, <laughs> this is, this is a new low. I'm bullish on girls, bearish on guys. Like I, 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 I don't even sexualize feet in my brain. And I feel like he is, uh, genuinely overstepping to the point where I, 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 this is this is how you build back karma right here. Yeah, I mean, I just love that she captured it. That's the best part. I mean, yeah. It, on the flip side, being able to capture that moment, gold. It's like, fellas. Yeah. This is a new low. Uh, you can it. be better. You can be better. No, no, no. This is below the ground standards that we've set for ourselves. Strive to be better. S strive to not. I be can't believe you've watched it so many times now. I, I'm. I'm you're I'm on foot fixing. talk now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, you're right. Fuck, gross. <laughs> okay, and then a finale. This is a this is a really lighthearted one. This is an easy one. <gasps> they were fake. <laughs> of course they were fake. This is what a real. <laughs> Devin and Jeremy looking at each other right now. <laughs> I, I don't know how exactly to describe this, except for the fact that the, the, a, 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 a normal everyday video was turned into someone taking a rodent off the back of her head, but the rodent looked- No, it's a claw clip. A claw clip? It's a claw clip. And it you say all men are liars. Fake. <laughs> you know how like there's like fake buns and fake bangs? Everything is fake. Everything is nothing fake. Nothing is real. There's nothing is real. This world is just nothing, nothing but just one lie to the real. next. What's next? And on that Santa? note. Santa? Santa? Yeah, <laughs> fake is that bun. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into episode, whatever the fuck it is. Um, uh, appreciate it if you could listen to all, like I said, all 97 ads so that I can get through um, uh, another ring shopping extravaganza. And um, if you haven't already, Lauren's Discord went live with the Wild Till 9 section, so get the fuck over there. Woo! All right, guys, bye.